Now before I delve into the gods uh, of the game more, I'd like to talk about uh, some special items that come with the game um, that makes it a lot of fun. One of the things with this game, uh, you do have Atlantis here, and uh, you get four territories, and um, if you own the entire continent of Atlantis, you receive an additional three armies on top of that as a continental bonus. But what's nice about the game is uh, one of the magic cards, uh, the God of Death card, with that nice little skull on there, uh, has one particular card that says you can sink Atlantis. You use this little card here and cover that up, and Atlantis is submerged under the water, which is kind of neat. A lot of times uh, people will develop Atlantis and build up their armies there, and then suddenly somebody will play that card, and down goes Atlantis along with the points. And um, it's a very sad thing when that happens, but so much fun to play. And of course, you just take it right off there, and you have Atlantis back on the board again. Another uh, aspect of this game that's kind of neat is, uh, of course, uh, to cross the sea lanes, to go from continent to continent. You have these little dashed lines right here. And um, in this game, there is a particular card that can actually submerge a sea lane, such as this. And that prevents anybody from crossing over, at least through that way. You only get one card that does that. So that could become critical, and um, it could protect your continent from an invasion, which is really nice. And of course, another aspect of this game, which is kind of neat, uh, there are plague lands. Plague is, was a big problem in the ancient world, and they actually include it in this game. And uh, what you do is you randomly pick a territory and then throw a plague land, or plague token, shall I say, right onto that land. And what that does is that any invading army that goes through there, while a plague token exists, is actually cut in half immediately. So they suffer half the casualties, and no gods are allowed to go through a plague land, which can both be a, a blessing or a curse, depending on how you look at it. And uh, so that's kind of neat. That's kind of a neat little aspect of the game. And um, let's see what else. Also in the game, uh, we do... Um, uh, let's see, how do how, how, how I explain this? You actually bid for turn order. Which is kind of nice. So in this case, we use our faith tokens that we receive at the beginning of our turn, and we all bid um, for a particular turn order. And you can bid, bid as much as you want. If you don't want to bid any faith tokens, you don't have to. If you want to bid one, two, or three, go for it. And uh, so whoever has the highest bid then gets to choose the turn order of the game. And if you want, you can go last or you can go first. Uh, depending on what you like. And, and some, on some occasions, going last is preferable. So you probably want to pick number five. Um, and then the next person, the next highest bid, then chooses which order he wants to go, so forth and so on. And so that's kind of a neat aspect of the game that you don't get in Risk normally.